intense Tehran, anti-British fever mounts as thousands of demonstrators march to Parliament Square to demand that Iran stand firm in the oil crisis dispute with Britain and reject world court proposals for arbitration. As the crisis mounts from the U.S. Embassy, Ambassador Henry Grady drives to the home of Iran's Premier Mohammad Mossadegh to deliver a personal appeal from President Truman to the ailing but fervently nationalist Premier, urging Iran to accept the world court plan. But even if he wanted to, Premier Mossadegh could do little for anti-foreign feeling is running so high that the Shah of Iran himself, here leaving the hospital with his wife, decided to have American doctors remove his appendix in Tehran rather than risk public anger by going to a hospital abroad. <laughs> 